this one's going to be Funk Button. I don't know why I said it that slow, but basically um, if you have something in the wall that's sticking out that you want your uh, character to come up and press, and it makes something else happen, for example, a door opening, um, glass breaking, anything like that, that is a funk button. Uh, very useful. So anyways, uh, basically I just have a normal room, and what I have is some glass. Um, I just tied it to the entity funk breakable, gave it the name glass, and then under flags have only break on trigger. So now when you press this button, we're going to set it so it just breaks the glass. That's what the button does. So make some sort of button. I just made a basic one. Hit Control T and go down under class to funk underscore button. There's a lot of these key values that they have. The only really important ones are, let's go down to the first one, which is move direction. Move direction is according to the bird's eye view. This is the direction that the button's going to be going to after you press it. Um, so as you see, it's already pointing in the right direction. If it's not for you, change it to that direction. Speed just tells you how fast the button's going to be moving after you press it. Um, it's in units per second, so if you want it to be really fast, you can put it at 20. If you want it to be really slow, you can put it at 1. Um, there, you can add sounds to it if you want, but that's not too important. Delay before reset. This is kind of important. Basically, it says after you press the button and it moves inwards, how many seconds before it resets and goes back to its original position. So if you have something that's making grenades drop and you don't want people to keep pressing it over and over again, you can give it like a three second delay. So um, you press it, you have to wait for it to reset, and then you can press it after three seconds. Also, you can put it at negative one and it makes it so it just goes into the wall and you can't press it again. I'm going to leave it at three. Uh, hit apply. Go to flags. There are a few more. If you don't want it to move, which is always convenient so you don't have to deal with where it's going in and out, what the speed is, you can just talk put don't move. You can have it touch activate, so if you just walk up to it, it just activates. You can also have it start as being locked. So if you have something like a door that's locked and you don't want people to open it unless somebody else presses a button somewhere hidden in the room, you can do that. But that's a little more complicated. Now go to outputs. Push add and put on in, which just means on pressing the, the button and it, on it going into the wall target entities named glass, that's the glass that we named before, via this input break, and put apply. Basically all that is saying is when you press the button and it goes into the wall, the glass that I have set there is going to break. Press apply, there we go. There's your simple button and a bunch of different ways of editing the button to make it the way you want. Now I'm going to render it.